Hi, David Ode here, and this video is about uh, off-page SEO explained. Uh, essentially, I'm going to give you an overview to what off-page SEO is all about and a general overview of the plan. And so uh, let's get started. So let's first start talk about the algorithm history and, and what's important. So it used to be that uh, back in the 1990s, I used a search engine called Webcrawler. If you used the search engines in the 90s, um, those, that was an example. And what you saw a lot of the times were people, uh, basically they would put a, a, a search phrase on their page a thousand times to rank for it. And so you'd see a lot of blank text at the bottom. So if you wanted to rank for used car insurance or whatever, um, then you would just put that in blank text at the bottom of your page. If you had it more than other people, well, then you rank better than better than them. And uh, there was a lot of low quality results. Now it's still better than no search engine, but Google came along and they looked at more than just what's going on on your site. They looked at essentially uh, what's what people are linking to you and exactly how they're linking to you. And this made a huge difference. And so you know, there's a big quality. A big difference in the quality of the search results. I mean, they added a lot of value to society. It's so much easier and better when you include links in in, in your analysis of how 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 well to rank a site. And uh, Google was the first company to really do this, or at least really do it well. And uh, as a result, this is the whole reason why, in my opinion, why they are the number one search engine. They did this first, and they did it way better than everyone else, and no one else. And, and they're, they continue to do it better than everyone else to this day. Um, and you know, I think that the other search engines are, aren't quite as far behind now as they used to be. But I still think that Google is uh, ahead of the pack on, in this way on these factors. Uh, and as we're going to talk uh, about the the core algorithm is still pretty similar to the to 15 years ago, and it was a lot different than what you'd expect. But they still take into account links and, and the amount of kind of juice and authority. And they've set, stated that they've tested it without links, tested tested search engines uh, privately without links, and it just doesn't work nearly as well. Um, so you know, there, let's talk about a couple of the original ma uh, major factors that they looked at. Uh, there was something called PageRank. It's actually named after Larry Page. Uh, this is him at Google, one of the founders, um, and you know this is not really very valid today. The way they calculate this, it's too easy to gain. People have figured it out over the years, and they look at different uh, different factors now. I'm not sure they even look at it at all. They don't certainly don't update it very often, and uh, all the best people I know don't use it really as part of their analysis at all. There's better metrics out there uh, that better better explain what's going on uh, than PageRank. They've also looked at anchor text distribution. This is essentially if there was a, a link on a website that you had to click to. Let me give you an example. So here I am on CNN.com. The anchor text here, see the one I run the mouse over, it, is the charges colon second degree murder included. And so this dramatically, this link to this page has a huge effect on what it ranks for, specifically the anchor text. And people, and this was a, a major part of their algorithm, and people have slowly figured out how to work, how to game this. And so Google has had to respond by by finding unnatural anchor text distributions, and that's what Panda and Penguin are, are about, and they've done a really good job of that, which is why your anchor text distribution today, it's just as important, it just has to be different than what you would normally be able to rank, what would you, you would use to rank uh, two or three, four years ago. Um, <clears throat> but again, the core algorithm is still the same, you know, what goes on on your site, what goes on off your pay site, it's still the same, you know, social media didn't exist when they started, but uh, and so there's a lot of different additional ways that they look at things, but again, the core of the algorithm isn't too different. Some of the fundamental difference makers, Panda came first, um, I believe it was 2011, I can't remember, 2010, 2011, uh, when, they, when it really kicked in and it enabled them to, to be able to analyze things on a whole other level. Um, they essentially got m much more efficient at looking at algorithmic penalties, and so there's a lot of different uh, ways in which Panda can can hit you. Um, and it's not just about low quality links or low quality content. There's site speed if your site speed is low and it's just a whole bunch of factors that it, that it comes into play. Um, and then you combine that with Penguin and this was this one was the one that really got good at catching unnatural anchor text distribution. It doesn't do quite as much as, as Panda but it does a lot. In order to come back from that you need a disavow process and if you your site has been penalized um, I'm very good at at, at getting things unpenalized as best as possible. So feel free to contact me. We can talk more about these penalties. Okay, so um, domain authority is a much better metric than PageRank. How how much authority in Google's eyes does your domain have? 
And there's all sorts of awesome things that you get when you have a high domain authority. Um, and this is not a Google metric. It's actually, there's another company called Moz that calculates this metric. It's not perfect. It gets a lot of things. They don't miss, they miss a lot of things as well. So you, you kind of have to kind of take it with a grain of salt. Um, but it, it's also interconnected with something called trust flow and the higher domain authority and trust flow, the more they trust you and the easier it is to rank for search phrases. And, and as you build this, all of your search phrases that you're tracking, pretty much all of them go up. Um, it's not guaranteed, but n at least nine out of 10. And in some cases, just 100% have either stayed flat or gone up once the domain authority and trust flow was significantly built. Okay. And this is part of the reason why Amazon and YouTube and a lot of those and Wikipedia that have domain authority of 100, uh, which is absolutely massive, essentially infinity compared to most sites. Uh, in, you know, could how much more powerful is YouTube than, you know, some random dentist site? Uh, it's uh, astronomical, right? Um, okay, so let's talk a little bit about what, what does a good overall SEO plan include. Um, and so, first of all, the first and most important thing is, and this is important for on page as well, but you got to do your research thoroughly. And so few people do this, and so few people dig out all the different ways in which your market could find you online, specifically in the search engines, all the different ways in which they could interact with the search engines and put search searches in. Um, and then, if you don't build your site right, you're kind of there's not much hope, not much point in, in doing off-page SEO because off-page SEO is a lot more expensive and time-consuming for every, anybody who ever tries to do it. And so, but on-page is a lot simpler, but you still need to do it right. And, it, and so few people, again, they, they, part of the reason is they don't do the research thoroughly, but then they, they don't know the plan on how to target all those different searches. So even if they did do the research, they, they wouldn't really know how to build it properly, but it's a lot simpler. And if you do this right, you need one tenth the amount of off-page SEO, or you get ten times the results from your off-page SEO. So doing that right um, is is definitely what you want to do. But the number one goal of off-page SEO is to build domain authority and trust flow. Now, there's other things that you can do that are more specific and maybe um, in, in more powerful examples where there's additional pieces of the puzzle that you can put together. But Ultimately, the ultimate goal, everything is aligned with building your domain authority and trust flow. So you can go on the happy path, the algorithm, as I call it. Essentially, the algorithm is not a pie chart. It's not 17% this, 13% this, whatever percent, all these other jazz. And while that sometimes is applied, it's more like thousands of little steps and, and forks in the road. And um, when your domain authority and your trust flow are high, they take you on the happy path. It's a lot harder to be penalized. Negative SEO is much less likely to hurt you. Um, they're just much, much less likely to apply any penalties. And not only that, again, your, all your rankings will rate, go up. So part of what we do is we want to take quality content and we want to distribute it out there. And as you, if you go around my site, you can see heavily rely on videos. Each video is extremely powerful. Um, put it up on YouTube. YouTube has a domain authority of 100. You can link from your videos to, to, your, to your digital assets. Um, but more importantly, or just as importantly, they're highly engaging. People watch them for a long time, which Google recognizes. And they, they, the longer someone is on your site, uh, the more they reward you. And not only that, the more likely they are to convert into an actual customer. So, um, you know, creating good content is important. It's not the only thing, and, you know, it, but it, it's definitely something that you want to try to do. You know, you don't want to spend all your time and energy on, on content marketing, uh, but it's something that, that, that uh, helps a lot with off-page SEO when done correctly. You're going to take your content, you're not just going to use it on your site, but you're going to try to distribute it and get other people to use it as well which brings people back to your site, but also helps build your domain authority and trust flow when done correctly. Um, you know, another thing we're going to do is we're going to try to build a big site. Part of domain authority is this, the size of your site. Um, how many pages on your site and is it structured properly? Stuff like that can go a long way towards building your domain authority by itself. Uh, so that's uh, one of the factors. It's kind of off page and on page at the same time. Uh, and that's something that, that, that if you talk to me about a plan, that's something that I've definitely talked about. So. Uh, if you're interested in doing some off-page SEO or uh, getting a really good plan for the on-page plus the off-page, feel free to contact me. Um, and uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.